Hey guys, welcome back to another TMR Tours here at the Wilderness Lodge. It's a beautiful resort, lots of carved architecture. I mean, it looks like just a giant like log cabin lodge. Really cool. But we're not here to talk about the lodge or the resort. We're here to talk about the Boulder Ridge Villas. There's something special in there that Walt Disney himself would approve of. Check it out. So something really special right here at the Wilderness Lodge, past the gift shop, Boulder Ridge Villas entrance. Something inside there, really special. Let's go check it out. So now here we are inside the Boulder Ridge Villas. Right across here is the Carrollwood Railroad Room, and inside are some of Walt Disney's own trains. Let's go check them out. Here he is, Walt Disney himself. Obviously, it's a painting, but little people know that in Los Angeles, his home, he had the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad. Now, this is actually a picture of the Lily Belt, which interestingly enough, is right over here. The Lily Belt, Walt Disney's own train. Look at the magnificence. So this was something that Walt Disney actually drove around in his yard. And it looks like there's a signature on it. See this? Someone scribbled their Herbie Hancock. Now that's not Walt Disney's signature. No, no, no. Whose signature would that be? I don't know. Maybe if we take a stroll over, yeah. This is the big boy. This is 1 8th scale, the original Disneyland Railroad. So those that don't know, before Disneyland, Walt had his own railroad in his backyard. And actually, as this placard says, designed and built by one of the first Imagineers, Roger Brogy. So for those that don't know the significance of this name, Lily was actually Walt Disney's wife's name. So, the Lily Bell. The beautiful Lily, if you will. The Lily Bell steam engine, as it chugs onto the main line of the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad, ran through the Disney family estate. Wow, look at that. The Holmby Hills. So this, actually, Walt Disney just built a train in his backyard, and it was, as I said, eighth scale, so you could still ride it. Ward Kimball, who worked with Walt for many, many years, he was one of the original nine old men, and also a great railroader. Uh, he and his wife, Betty, were the first private citizens in the United States to own their own steam locomotive out in San Gabriel. And Ward realized that he had never invited the boss to come out and see the railroad in the backyard. I had a party one night, and uh, he uh, came to it. I asked him if he'd like to run the locomotive, and I said, oh, he he refused that. Uh, well, you, you run it, you know. I said, well, it's simple, Walt. You take the Johnson bar and shove it forward. That means it's going forward. And he ran it, and I, I can remember how his mouth dropped open. Again, it kind of changed his life. And now we have trains at Disneyland, Disney World, I mean, Disney Paris. You have trains practically almost every instance of Disney. So. It's a big part of the Disney legacy. Carrollwood Pacific Railroad started it off. Here's the whistle of the Lily Bell for the first time. Look at that happy, happy walking. Amazing. So it might look like a regular picture of Walt in front of a train. That is actually his miniature train with it superimposed even back then to show the degree of detail. All right here. Okay. 
So that wraps up our little excerpt on the Walt Disney train here in the Carrollwood Room of the Wilderness Lodge. So of course you do have to come to the Boulder Ridge Villas area, but check it out guys, you can see it right here, Walt Disney's train and the man himself, a little bit of history, just some great stuff. If you enjoyed it, check out some of our other videos here on YouTube, TMR Production Studios, and we'll see you on another TMR tour. Kongaloosh!